So this is the first video in a series about coupling reactions. So it turns out a really common challenge in organic chemistry is trying to stitch together two benzene rings or, or a very similar reaction. So let's say we have benzene ring here, uh, benzene ring A, and here's benzene ring B. And we just want to connect these two benzene rings. So there's A, and it is indeed connected to B. And as it turns out, this is, this is not an easy challenge to overcome, but a lot of people want to do this. And you see these types of molecules are called biarils. And you find them in uh, the pharmaceutical industry. You far, find them in a lot of um, material science applications. And, you know, people talk about nanotechnology. A lot of these kinds of things rely on biarils. So how do you make this? It turns out you, 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 you can't do an SN2 reaction to do this. An SN2 reaction is performed on alkyl halides, and we don't have any alkyl carbons. These carbons in ring A and B, those are sp2 hybridized. This is not an addition reaction. You know, normally think we think of addition reactions as breaking pi bonds to form sigma bonds. We're, we're making a sigma bond, but this is not an addition reaction in that sense. So how are we going to do this? Well, as it turns out, one way to think of this reaction is really we're going to go back to electrophile nucleophile chemistry. So you can imagine what if this benzene ring were a nucleophile? And what if this benzene ring, don't cringe too much, had a positive charge and this were an electrophile? Well, in that sense, these two, this nucleophile and electrophile, and that lone pair is not clear, there it is. If these were to connect, we would make that bond. So that's one way to look at it. So how can we think of the benzene ring as a nucleophile? Well, we've dealt with organometallic uh, reagents, things like organolithiums, where this is essentially this carbon-lithium bond. We can think of it as ionic. It looks like that. So basically, any time that we have a metal counterion, I'm just going to write metal M plus as, as a symbol for metal, we can think of these as organometallics, and they're going to be nucleophiles on that benzene ring. Okay, so this is not such a crazy idea to have think of these as nucleophiles. Let's go over here. Now, how are we going to envision this? carbocation benzene. This is so crazy, I've just got to put it in quotes all the time because it, it doesn't exist in this form. Well, we could think of having a halogen on a benzene ring. And yes, this is a polarized sigma bond. And that carbon is weakly electron deficient. So we don't need it just to be bromine. You know, very often people just put X in place of the bromine as kind of a universal signal. Uh, symbol for a halogen. So this over here on the right is a way to think of this compound as an electrophile. Now as it turns out this chemistry doesn't work by itself. We need an additive to make this work and we're going to use in all these reactions um, trans. Let's go back on that. We're going to use a transition metal as a catalyst for this reaction. And we're going to use palladium. There are other transition metals you can use, but our go-to is going to be palladium. So we're going to see in these coming videos how to use a catalyst like palladium to help connect organometallic species down here on the bottom left to aryl halides on the bottom right to make what? to make in the center screen by aryl compounds. And this is a whole process of chemistry. We're really talking about organometallic chemistry right now. But this is a very useful, um, highly used reaction.